slash slash. Get this, it's food. Coat, that's all. Look, this is my coat. Leave me alone. No, can you just let me show you? Oh, God! Oh, oh. Look, I'm. Um, please, God. Stay I'm... away from me. Oh. Oh. I just want my coat back. It's a birthday present. Please. Stay away from me. You pervert! Oh. 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 Right, and spoon me on, okay? I bet you 10 quid that you cannot get off with a burger by choosing. Bet I can, mate. Right, let's see. That bird over there. Oh, 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 As you can imagine, three close friends like us wouldn't let a little fight get in the way of our friendship. I mean, we have been through more scrapes than you can imagine possible. But this time, it was deadly serious. You might have noticed we don't exactly live like royalty, but you know this hasn't really been an issue up until uh, now, because we're used to it. But the thing is, two days ago, we had 10 million quid in our possession. And today, we're eating cornflakes with stolen milk. Could you pass the milk, please, Diary? There you go. These, as you know, are my friends. Spoon here is a bit of an idiot. I feel a bit harsh about saying that. But he is. This was a golden goal moment of the Centurion Lager Pub's commemorative glass jugs competition. And as Spoon was fouled, he really wanted to take the kick. Unfortunately, no one disputed it. Like I said, Complete spooner. This is your bloody fault. Having to live like this. We should be living in a bloody mansion eating bloody caviar on toast. Like the rich people, we should bastard well be. We've always lived like this. So will you stop moaning? Darry, on the other hand, is a bit more temperamental than Spoon. He believes himself to be a bit of a ladies' man, with slightly more intelligence than the rest of us. 
but the truth of the matter is, he's a fool. If you hadn't gone and lost your job, we'd have a little bit of money to play with, wouldn't we? Darry, you see, lost his job the other day. All he had to do was be nice and obey a few little rules like never sell fags or pawn mags to children, never drink the booze, and the till is not your pocket, especially as you're on camera. Now me on the other hand, it's a completely different story. I'm just plain unlucky. I've just split with a girlfriend, Jane, and that's why I'm round here this morning. You could say I didn't exactly see eye to eye with the parents.